Hello, I'm Steve Jones from the British Cornell Company and welcome to the winter edition of my videos um, about British Cornell production. And we're here in late December looking at um, a 30 acre field that's hopefully going to be put into quinoa next year. But um, before I get too much into the 2015 crop we're going to be planting, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about what we did in 2014. So essentially, we harvested a good amount of quinoa in 2014. For us, the quality was exactly what we wanted. Um, and now we've, we've had that crop processed, it's been cleaned. So hopefully, if you pop into one of your local Pret-a-Manger restaurants, you should see one of their salads with our British grown quinoa in it. So go along and take a look and try it, and it'd be great to have some feedback on what you guys think of it. So anyway, about the 2015 crop. What we need to do when we're planting quinoa is to really think ahead, um, months advance before we even actually plant the crop. So what we've got here is a crop of mustard. And you might be wondering why we're growing mustard if we're actually trying to grow quinoa. Well, mustard is a great crop to grow over winter. It's got a lot of environmental benefits uh, for the farm in general, I suppose. Um, what the mustard has done is that we planted this in September um, it's grown rapidly to produce a nice foliage for us and one of the great benefits of growing mustard is that over winter it's going to be absorbing any excess nitrogen that's in the soil and you might be aware that nitrogen and nitrogen fertilizer in general is actually quite a bad pollutant within um, the agricultural environment. It causes issues such as getting into water courses. Now what the mustard is going to do is take in all of that nitrogen from the soil instead of it being lost to water courses potentially um, and it's going to store it in its stem and in its leaf um, and really absorb it so it can't go anywhere. Additionally, what the crop's also going to be doing is it's taking um, carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and again locking it up within the, the plant itself. So um, obviously you'll know that carbon dioxide is uh, a, contribute to, a contributor to global warming. So it's a really good thing that we're managing to actually take some of that carbon dioxide out of the air, store it within the plant material. And what we're going to do come spring is that we're going to take this material, we're going to um, plough it back into the soil and that organic matter is going to start breaking down to become um, humus in the soil. And that again is great for soil health and we really need it to help uh, regulate things such as wa uh, water within the soil and it's great for worms of course. So those are the two of the benefits that we're growing this mustard for. Additionally, we also are needing the mustard to create a really good um, structure within the soil. And I've got two examples here. So these two mustard plants that I've just pulled up. So you'll see it's developed a nice canopy on top of it. Again, storing nitrogen and, and carbon within that. Um, one of the important things that you obviously can't see within the field is the roots. The roots have worked their way down into the soil. And these have developed two really nice good tap roots that have gone deep into the soil. And what that's going to be doing is to open up the soil profile and it's going to be breaking up any compaction that's down there because um, in the following crop that we sow with the quinoa we're going to find that um, it really likes to have a nice open soil structure for it to get its roots down so if we can use the mustard to help open up that soil structure naturally without using um, any form of tillage then that's a really really good way of doing it. So um, what we're going to be doing to this crop next is that we'll wait until spring um, we'll come along, we'll plough it back in and that will start the, the mustard actually breaking down. Um, again, forming all that goodness within the soil. On top of that, we're then going to be planting the quinoa. So um, that's going to happen in around three months time, around late March to early April. So um, hopefully I can come back in a few months time and show you another video of us working this uh, mustard crop in and hopefully we should see the benefits of it in the following quinoa crop. Anyway. I imagine that's enough for now. Hopefully we'll be able to catch you in a few months time when I do my next video, but thank you for watching and happy new year. Bye.